Welcome everyone to kitchen settings. Um, there's no microphone, so I hope the audio is just a little uh, okay. Um, today I'm going to make some of Charlie's chop, basically a little refill. So I thought that I would take you guys along and show you how I make it. And basically chop is like just a bunch of veggies thrown together in a bowl. Veggies are very healthy for birds and they should always be a part of a bird's daily diet. So Charlie eats it every day and therefore it is also important that it's variated with a lot of different veggies and all that. So let's go! I did not film in the supermarket because I find that a bit awkward. <laughs> but let's see what I got. So first thing, carrots and salad. And I just want to say, if you have like smaller birds or one bird, I really recommend just buying like a bucket of different salads because then first of all you're gonna get a, diff a lot of different salads and second of all you don't have to buy like a whole salad hit because that is a lot of salad <laughs> so this is a great alternative uh, I think I need to put the camera a little bit higher up so the whole thing is not just Charlie because she will try and get the pepper as soon as I get it out so you're warned, but I'm just gonna put you guys a little higher up so that it's not just Charlie show. Okay, I am so sorry, but I have like little to no kitchen space. So I hope that you guys can see what I'm doing. But moving on, cucumber. You like that. <laughs> and the pepper. And this is like Charlie's drug, so I may put it away when I don't need to cut it because she is just like fascinated by pepper sheet. Now, okay, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Um, chickpeas and in the fridge I have a pepper, which I'm not going to take out, <laughs> but I also have pumpkin because in the fall I like to use pumpkin. It's very healthy and Charlie really likes it. And nothing says like fall and Halloween like a pumpkin. And I did already use some of it in my last chops because there's a lot of pumpkin here. Also, I have some broccoli from last time I made chops. So you can save them. I mean, they have hold very well. I think it's about, what, two weeks ago I made the chop, but they don't look bad or anything like that. And they smell fine. So I'm going to use them in this chop as well. And I am going to make like a bigger portion that I freeze uh, and then just take it out of the freezer as Charlie eats it. And you are already eating the cucumber. All right. <laughs> okay, so some of the other stuff, basically I have uh, just milk and juice, but that's for me. Obviously, popcorn. And I cannot recommend enough that if you're on a budget and go out and buy greens for chop, just Buy some Sicilia wraps and then you have dinner for yourself for a couple of days. And I like Sicilia wraps, just put some salsa and some cheese on it. I have some chicken leftovers, so chicken and greens and some salsa. And I'm good to go and have a lovely dinner for the next like two or three days. So can't recommend that enough. So for the chopping, I usually cut it out with a knife in like smaller bits and use 
this little thing to chop it into smaller pieces and you can use a blender if you want to i just really like this one because i have to blend it with my hand that didn't make any sense i have to blend it with like this little thing i basically just pull it and the cutter moves so nonetheless I get my veggies chopped and I don't have to use electricity or anything like that. I have more control of how much I want to chop it and it doesn't take up a lot of space, which is crucial for my situation. Hi, it's editing me. So I noticed that at some points it looks like that I'm putting my knife very close to Charlie. I promise that I am keeping a close eye on her and at no point is the knife like really close to her. It's just the camera angle. But if you have a very flighty bird at home or a bird that could just fly at any given time, I would not have them sit and chop veggies with you like Charlie is here just for safety reasons. So. Just wanted to pop in and say that. Back to uh, Charlie being in front of the camera. Last, but certainly not least, for you, Charlie. The pepper. And I just want to say, before I chop it, I do feed her. She does get food. Um, she just really likes pepper for some reason. It's a little bit more sugary. So obviously I'm not adding like a whole lot of pepper to a chop because I want her to eat the other things as well. Even though I chop it, she will still try and sort in it to get the pepper. So uh, I am going to add it, but I only add a little bit of it. Because um, it's still healthy. Like, pepper has some very good vitamin A's and all that. So <laughs> you can have a little bit. The final result, childish chop, and then I'm basically just going to make a few buckets of it and put it in the freezer and in the fridge so then she can have it for the next what two weeks or so. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's make the rest of it. I ended up with two boxes, so basically one is going in the fridge and the other one is going in the freezer. And so when one is almost used up, I'll just put the other one in the fridge so that it's ready for the next day. And yeah, if your kitchen doesn't look somewhat like this, you've done it wrong. Um, <laughs> I left had some leftover pepper that Charlie already got too, but some leftover pepper and also some more groceries in the fridge and then I can make tortilla for myself. Mm -hmm. 